Hey everyone, welcome back to week eight of virtual classes. I hope quarantine's still going well for you. Really looking forward to seeing you all and hopefully it'll be soon. All right, so for today, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different than normal. So we're gonna do our normal warm up, but we're gonna be moving around and I want you to pause the video and do the drill, usually about 10 times, but I'll tell you how many, so that we can get better at the skills. Also, that way you're not just watching me do gymnastics all the time, because that's your guys' job. All right, so to start off though, we're gonna just run in place for 10 steps. Remember, we're using our nice vault arms. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, the next thing, we're gonna kick our butt. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do some straight jumps. We're gonna keep our arms right up and we're gonna punch through our toes 10 times. So I'm not gonna count, but you guys get the idea, right? Ready? Nice. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is ski jump. So I'm gonna use this line right here, and I'm gonna ski jump 10 times over. So back and forth counts as one. So hands on your hips. And if you've got a mat like mine, careful on a hardwood floor, because that tried to wipe me out. All right, great job, guys. I'm gonna move the mat and we're gonna static stretch. Okay, so after our cardio, we want to do our stretching, but we're going to start with our standing stretches. So we're going to stand with our feet apart, and we're going to do wings. So you're going to bend right in half, and we're going to do it 10 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work, guys. You should feel that stretching right in the sides of your shoulders or the front, more like. All right, now we're going to do up-downs. We keep our hands together. Don't bend your elbows. We're gonna bend right in half and we're gonna do this 10 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna do right here is helicopters. So we're gonna reach down in the middle and we're gonna go one, one, two, two. All right, if that makes any sense. So ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Just kidding, we've got one more stretch while we're still standing up. So we're gonna do a standing pike stretch. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. You don't want your knees to bend and you wanna touch the floor if you can or try to touch your toes. So if it's really hard and you can only reach to here, that's fine, but if you don't want them to bend or it's not gonna help you. So reach as far as you can. If you're like me, you might be able to reach all the way backwards. So we're gonna hold that for 10 more seconds. Nice. All right, now we're going to do our candlestick to pikes and candlestick to straddles. We're going to do five each. So make sure I don't run into anything here. Candlestick. There's one. Reach it all the way up. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. And we're going to hold that for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now candlestick to straddle. So same thing, but pancake out in your straddle this time at the end. All the way up. One, two, three, four. I need a pen all over there. And five. And we're going to count for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're just gonna reach over to one side. So remember, keep your knees up. You don't want them rolling forward on you, okay? And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more time off the middle, but we're gonna hold our ankles this time. And 10, 
work guys now we're gonna move on to our wrists and our shoulders so you're gonna go right up on your knees you're gonna put your hands down and you're gonna rock forward about five times and turn your hand back you don't have to rock exactly five times guys rock as much as you need to feel a good stretch and to the sides And into the middle. And then flip your hands up and same thing all over again. So forward, palms back, out to the sides. Careful on this stretch guys, you don't want to hurt yourselves though. So don't put all your weight, I'm sitting back more than I am leaning over. And shake them out. Straighten out your arms, grab your thumbs, really, really tight, don't let those elbows bend. And we're doing more wrist stretching this way. You should feel this one all the way up here. All right, and since your arms are already up, we're gonna reach across, we're gonna grab it, and we're gonna push that elbow towards the opposite shoulder, so we're stretching right here. And to the other side, same thing, so reach across, latch and hold. Hold for about five, four, three, two, and one. And then you're gonna go up, pat yourself on the back, grab your elbow, push it down. You're gonna do about five, four, three, two, one. And switch sides. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, roll your shoulders out just a little bit. Nice work, guys. Now we're gonna move on to everyone's favorite splits. So you're going to put your favorite foot forward. I don't care which foot you do first. Make sure you do all of your splits though. No cheating. Hands on your hips and lunge. Remember back leg should be straight. Front knee should not come over your foot. I know I talk about this every week so I won't go into so much detail this time but always be thinking about it. And lean backwards on your back leg. Reach all the way up. Bend over. Hand on each side of your foot, sit your shin. Remember, this knee does not bend in this stretch. And let's move on to our deep lunge. So both hands on the same side as your back leg. And you're going to lean right up by your shoulder and sit up tall. Your back leg's almost in a split already. It's really straight. It's pushing a lot on this muscle right here. And slide on out. Do about five more seconds, guys. Ready, five, four, three, two, and one. If you want to hold it longer, go ahead, guys. Pause the video and hold it right out until you're totally satisfied. Other leg, hands on your hips, and push. Almost tipped over there. So you should really feel this in your back hip. If you're not feeling it, you're not pushing your hip down. You're probably just sitting up a little too much, so really push. And straight leg reach all the way down to the back knee. Reach up nice and tall, and reach forward. About 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Four, three, two, and one. Both hands on the same side as your back knee. Deep lunge. Make sure this leg isn't coming up to the side. Pull it right up next to your shoulder. All right, and we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One hand on each side and slide on out. And we'll go for. Let's start our 10 seconds right about now. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, guys, right into our center split. So remember, we keep our knees up towards the ceiling as best as we can. Slide down to our elbows and don't stick your butt up and don't lean forward like the letter Y, all right? 
So slide out as much as you can. And we'll go 10 seconds starting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake your legs up, guys. I know that's a hip herder, at least when you get to be my age it is. And now we're going to lay on our back and we're going to push up to a bridge. And once again, since the advanced class is also using this warm up, I invite you guys to do bridge rocks. Girls class, if they're too tough, don't worry about it. Remember, you can always modify bridges too into tables if that's too hard, okay? But challenge yourself. Bridge rocks are good for stretching the chest too. So we're going to lay right on our back. Put your hands up by your ears. Push up. Walk our feet together. And we'll hold the first one for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on down, grab your knees, rock and roll. And we're gonna stretch our back the other direction. And then the last one right here. So we're gonna lay on our back. We're gonna rock back five times and then hold for five. So ready, arms up, push up. And when we rock, we rock from straight legs. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on down. Grab your knees, rock and roll. All right, excellent job, guys. That is our warm up, but I also wanted to mention if there's anything that you guys want to learn, Submit it to the gym. You can comment on YouTube. You can comment through Instagram and comment through Facebook. You can message. But let us know what you want to do so I can make the lesson plans more fun for you, okay? All right, nice work, guys. We're going to start our next event. Hey, ladies. Welcome to Vault. So today we're going to need a couple of things for vault. You're going to need to have a wall that you can use. So if you need to pause the video, like I said earlier, go use the wall. I want you to try each drill about 10 times, like I said. And then you're going to need probably a couch or maybe even a bed. You can go over to your bed. But something that's going to be squishy and comfy and you're going to be able to roll on or do a handstand flat back onto. But remember, always be careful. So if you've got a little bed, and long legs, maybe don't try to do handstand flat backs on it, all right? So be wise about how you do things, okay guys? So the first thing we're gonna do is try to make our run better because a powerful run is really, really important to vault. So the first thing we're gonna work on is some running drills. So we're gonna work on some Mario lunges. So these are kinda, if you guys have ever seen Super Mario Brothers, I know it's kinda an older game, but they run and they do these little goofy jumps. So you're gonna have your hands here, down by your side and they're gonna come up with you and you're gonna bring your back foot forward. We're gonna do five on each leg. So you're gonna go up, one, two, you don't have to jump like I did on the first one, three, four, and five. All right, we're gonna go back to the other leg. So this is helping you get that strength you need to get that fast run and push through here. So we're making that just a little bit stronger. So ready, right here's one, Two, three, oh, almost fell. Four, and last one, five, and back to your lunge. All right, nice work on those. I know they're a little bit strange. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on actually getting those legs moving. So we're gonna do 10 push-up runs. So we're gonna start in our push-up position, and they're almost like mountain climbers. And we're gonna lift our legs up and switch. 10 times really fast, so I'm not gonna count, but you guys are gonna show you a few of them and then you guys are gonna do it for me, okay? Ready? All right, you guys wanna do that as fast as you can so that your vault is more powerful. All right, next thing, you guys all know this one. We're gonna sit in our pike and we're gonna get our arms going. We're gonna try to bounce up, all right? Just like that, I want you to do that about 10 times, not five, 10. All right, nice work guys. We're gonna move on to our hurdle drills now. So the next most important part of our vault after we do that big run is how we hit the springboard. 
But we can't just walk up to a springboard and bounce off of it, right? It doesn't work like that. So you have to hit the springboard. But the way we do that is a hurdle. So just like on floor, when we do round offs, we have to hurdle. But this is a vault hurdle. It's a little bit different. So we're gonna work on some drills to make that better for you, all right? So the first drill we're gonna do is gonna be just a jumping drill. So you're gonna put out your fancy uh, springboard or hurdle line more like, which is just a towel for me. And you're gonna step with your bad foot and you're just gonna jump to a stick position. So I'm gonna show you that one more time. You're gonna step and jump to a stick. Notice I'm not really putting the arm circle in yet because I wanna show you a little bit more about that. So pause the video, try that drill a couple of times. We'll come back to it. We're gonna add on to that in a little bit. Then we're gonna talk about this arm circle. So when we do our vault, we can't just get to a handstand, right? Our arms are down when we're on the board. So what do we have to do? We have to bring them up. And there's a good way to do that that gives us more power. So we're just gonna do some arm circle toe rises so you feel like you're doing that jump. So you're running, 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 right? And then arm circle, up, down, and back up down and back up. So when you come down, your arms are down. When you come up, your arms come up. So try that a few times for me. After you've done that a few times, I want you guys to work on adding a straight jump to that drill that we just worked on. So I'm gonna unfold my towel again here, put it out, you're gonna step, you're gonna go to that safety step with your arms down, but then that arm up feeling, we're just gonna do a little straight jump out of it. So step, arm circle, straight jump. All right, one more time. Step, arm circle, straight jump. Now, do you guys know why I made you jump over something? Because if I'm just jumping up and down, my feet are underneath me, right? If I'm jumping over something, my feet are coming in front of me. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is when we're actually doing our hurdle, we come off of the board, our feet are in front of us just a little bit. So we're gonna do a hobble hold to feel that kind of feeling. So you're gonna lay right out and we're gonna lift our feet up five times, all right? You guys do it five or 10 times more like. So you're gonna lay out like this, look forward and lift your legs. So this is the position our feet are when we hit the board. We come right up, we're here. Jump and back. All right, nice work on that guys. Now that you guys are gymnastics experts on the run and the hurdle, and then the little jump off of the board that I showed you over here, we're gonna move on to the actual handstand flat back where we hit the board, we go to our handstand, look like a tree getting chopped down and fall flat on your back and squeeze your body as much as you can. So for that, we need to have a strong handstand. So I'm gonna give you some drills that I want you to work on, hopefully like you did the other ones more times than I showed you, but hopefully this will help you get a little bit better. So we're gonna need two chairs to start off. So I'm gonna put one chair here. Make sure they're not too far apart because we're just gonna work on holding a straight body between them. So if I'm right here on the chair and I'm letting my bottom sink down, do you think that's helping me? Not really. So what I wanna do is get right here so make sure they're far enough apart. And then we're gonna hold our body straight for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and then you're gonna move on to your belly and do the same thing. So you don't wanna let your belly button hang down. So you wanna be over here. And it's just gonna use your muscles in here. Mark those straight arms. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice work on that, guys. Next thing we're gonna work on, so I'm gonna clip other parts of the video in because we're gonna need a wall. Next is gonna help us with the actual flight to the handstand. So we're simulating that super girl flight through the air. So you're gonna put your hips on a chair. You're gonna have a wall right in front of you, but make sure you're not in a place where your chair is gonna slide out on you and you're gonna smash your face on the floor, okay? So you're gonna lay right out, hips on the chair, hands on the wall. I'm gonna move my chair back just a little bit and you're gonna push on the wall and you're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna move right on to the dive roll since I'll be right over here. So it's like when we do our forward roll on the vault. So I'm gonna move my pillow right here. So you're gonna punch with two feet. You're gonna reach onto a mat or a bed or 
a couch, as long as it's somewhere you're not going to whack your feet on the other side. So be cautious of your surroundings, okay? You're going to bounce with two feet, put your hands down, tuck your chin, and roll. One more time, I'll show it to you, and then I want you guys to do that probably almost 10 times if you can, because it's really helpful. It's the closest thing you can safely do here. So, punch it. All right, nice work on that. So over here, we're gonna do some wrist push-ups against the wall, because when we actually hit the vault, we need to be able to push off and have that wrist strength to actually block and do our handstand flat back. So I want you guys to try this about 10 times. You're gonna put your hands against the wall, you're just standing and you're gonna push and back. If that's a little too easy, move your feet back and work a little more diagonal so you're flying off of the vault and pushing through your hands. So handstand and pop. All right, like I said, about 10 times on that, guys. So the last thing we're gonna do today are some piked shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna sit down in a pike and we're gonna hold something over our head. I have a book here and we're gonna shrug our shoulders because that's gonna be almost how it feels when you pop off of your hands before you go on your back. It's called a block. So we're trying to get our shoulder muscles strong enough. So I want you guys to do this 10 times. I'm gonna show it to you a few. I'm gonna hold my book up over my head. I'm sitting against a wall so my back's nice and straight because you wanna block it vertical right here. So straight up and down. So all the way up, shoulders to your ears, back down. Up, back down, up, and back down. All right, nice job on vault today, guys. Let's go get ready for the next event. Welcome to bars. So this is my bar. It's actually my broomstick. So if you have a broomstick that's handle screws off, you can take it right over and do it for bars. If not, I want to say I used a duster for the advanced class video last week. So if you've got a duster, a feather duster with a handle on it, anything that you can just hold and simulate the feeling of a bar, because obviously I don't have a bar in my living room. So the very first thing we're going to work on today is our pullover. Because we're working on our pullovers, our casts, and our back hip circles, which are the three most important beginner gymnastics kind of skills on bars. So we're going to do some drills that are going to help with that. Remember, I invite you to pause the video and do the drill a few more times because you don't benefit that much when you just do it once or twice. All right, so try it five, ten times. So the very first drill that we're going to do, if I can read my paper over here, is our sitting pipe pullover drill where you're going to tap something behind you. So I have a roll of toilet paper, and this is my pipe. That's where I'm going to put it behind me, and I'm going to hold the bar. So we're going to pull it up to our chest, and then we're going to pull over just like we actually would. And we're going to tap the object behind us. So you're going to sit here, ready? We're at the bar. We're going to pull our chin up, and then tap. I guess my object's a little closer than I thought it was going to be. Let's see if we can push it back a little bit more. All right. So here. Chin up, so your chin and chest are against the bar. Your elbows are out, they're right in. And then we're gonna start to pull our hips over the bar and tap our objects. All right, nice work on that one, guys. Try it about 10 times for me. Then we're gonna move on to our push-up position rocks. So we've done this, I feel like every time you've done bars with me, but it's really important, that's why I keep making you do it. So you don't need your bar for this, especially if it's like mine and it's just gonna roll away. So I'm just gonna use this line on my panel mat right here, and I'm gonna pretend that's my bar because I wanna push my shoulders over it. Because after we do that chin up and pull over, what we just did the drill for right here, we need to be able to push down on the bar and hold ourselves up, right? So pushing down on the bar is gonna be that same feeling as the push up rock. So get into your push up position, and you're gonna do this about 10 times. You're just gonna rock forward and backwards, forward and backwards, forward, and backwards, making sure your shoulders are coming over your bar or the line on the floor. Now we're gonna move on to some drills that'll help us have more powerful casts because casts are something you use in gymnastics from day one until your last day in the sport. And I still do them today when I demonstrate it for you, so I don't even get off the hook still. So when we do that, remember we're swinging our hips away from the bar. We're not just letting our legs dangle. Some of you like to kind of just let them swing there. No, we're really trying to push. So we need to get some strength in our core and we need to be really good at that kind of push-up position once again. So you see that come in a lot of times on bars. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is our push-up donkey kick. So you're gonna be in your casting position and you're gonna kick 
all the way up because that's the kind of swing that you need in your belly and legs to do a good cast. All right, try that drill about 10 times for me. So I move my mat a little bit because I want to elevate my feet now. So if you need to go to another room or grab a chair, I'm going to use my couch if you have a safe spot that you can do this. We're going to try those push-up rocks, but now we're going to do it with our feet up so it feels like we're in the cast and we're leaning over the bar. So here's my bar, here's my feet, and I'm going to go over and back and over and back. And you don't want to let your back arch right here. You want to keep that belly button up nice and tall. Our last two bar drills today are going to help us with our back hip circles. So when we go around the bar, so it's almost like that pullover, but we start from on top of the bar. So we have to do that cast and then go around with a nice straight body backwards. So we're going to do some stuff that's going to help you understand that feeling a little bit. So the first thing you're going to need is your trusty bar. And you're going to hold that hollow position, the same thing that I believe we did on vault. And you're going to be lifting your feet up so it's almost like that pushing down and holding the bar that you're actually doing when you're over top of the bar. So you're going to lay back in your roll and you're going to lift your feet. All right, do that about 10 times for me, guys. And then I saved our last drill, the most fun drill, because I thought you guys would enjoy that one the most. So this is our back hip circle fall drill. Now I know we do it sometimes in classes, but we have a pit pillow and we've got like a little cute bars that we can hold onto that are foamy and nice. So what we're gonna do right here is be very careful that you're not gonna whack anything or you know, close line of sibling also sitting on the couch or even better yet, maybe do this on a bed but you wanna fall back with your straight body. So we're over top of our bar and we don't wanna you know, flop and stick our head out, right? So you're gonna be looking for it and then fall nice and straight backwards. So make sure you're not gonna fall into anything. I'll do it one more time, but again, I want you guys to do this about 10 times. And fall backwards. All right, nice work on bars, guys. I'm gonna move on to our next event. Welcome back to floor. So I hope you guys kind of remember that routine that we worked on last week. I'm going to go over that first part of the girls class routine really quick at the beginning. So remember, you can jump back to that if you want to work on it more later. But then I'm going to give you a bunch of drills that we can do to help make each skill in that routine easier and better. So when we come back to the gym, you're golden. All right. So the first thing in the girls class routine is we do our handstand. So remember, we did a bunch of lever drills last week. Well, we're just gonna do our handstand for now and go through it, and I'm gonna give you some drills to make it better. So start in your lunge, and you're gonna do a little handstand, kick up, and land back in your lunge, and finish. Then we do either a cartwheel or a round off. So if the round off's hard, do a cartwheel. If you think that the cartwheel is just cake, go ahead and do that round off. So I'm gonna do a cartwheel because I don't wanna disturb my neighbors. So you're gonna run into your round off, you're gonna hurdle if it's your round off, and then, Cartwheel, finish. All right, now we're facing the opposite direction. So we're gonna move up just a little bit. Remember, we don't move on the floor. And we're gonna do our backwards roll. So pizza hands, sit right down, and then roll right to your feet. So all the way back. And stand up, crown, finish. Nice work on that, guys. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is the candlestick pike bridge. So if you guys remember that, you would have the backwards roll. And then Candle, sit in the pike with your arms and crown, lay on your back, and push up to a bridge, and we're going to count to three. Ready? Three, two, one, and come on down. So that's all that we worked on last week, all right? So now we're going to go through the stuff that's going to help make it better. So these first couple of drills are going to help us be more effective with actually kicking up in our handstand and staying tight. So the very first thing you guys should remember from vault, because we all did the handstand holds between two chairs. So you're gonna lay out between the chairs. And we're gonna do it 10 seconds on our belly and 10 seconds on our back. So you're gonna hold it for 10, just like this. All right? And you've got 10 seconds like this too, belly button up nice and high. Our next drill, you guys might remember, if you remember the little french fries, the little kind of foam colored things that we hold, you're gonna, I'm gonna turn my chair actually, you're gonna whack it. You're gonna hold it up over your head and you're gonna do your T tap and back so it's a lever drill so it's going to help you make sure not to kick anything hold it up over your head start in your lunge 
and you're gonna bend and tap and go back to your lunge. All right, one more time like that. And bend, tap, lunge. All right, nice job on the handstand drills. So that should help you guys be a little bit straighter and help you keep everything a little more controlled. Now we're gonna do a couple of drills that are gonna make our round offs more powerful, okay? So the first part of the round up is that hurdle, right? When you actually have to do the jump and bring your leg up. Now remember, like I said earlier with the vault video, it's not quite the same as the hurdle that we do on the floor. So when we do a hurdle on floor, we're gonna step with our bad foot and we're gonna bring our good foot up. So I want you to just try that a couple of times. So bad foot's in front, arms come up with your good leg and back. If you wanna make it a little harder, try to go to a releve. So here, up and back. Try that about 10 times on each leg because we want you to be equally strong even though you don't usually round off on your bad side. Then after you've done that, we're gonna do a hurdle drill, so a little hop drill over this. So actually not over, we're gonna go right onto it. So you're gonna step in front of it, hurdle, and step off of it. So when I hurdle, I'm jumping on my bad leg. So remember how we brought that leg up before? Now we're adding a hop and I'm gonna land on my towel. So step, hop, and step off of the towel with your good leg. So again, one more time, I want you guys to try this a few times because this is really gonna help. So step, hop, step forward. All right, that should help you with the first part of the round off. Then the second drill is gonna be starting from a kneel and a needle kick, but we're gonna turn our hands sideways because we don't go into a round off like a handstand, right? You can't just go forward. So we need to turn just a little bit. Remember our T hands. So we're gonna start in our lunge. So my good leg's in the front right now, but remember you also should do this on your bad side so you're equally strong. Turn back down, all right? That's that whole actual entry into the round off. So do it on both sides. Get those legs strong and I hope it helps make your round offs a little bit stronger too. So now we're gonna work on that pesky backwards roll that everyone always seems to have such a hard time with. Because remember, we don't wanna roll over our neck. So we're gonna do some drills that are gonna help you get the feeling for the sitting back, squishing your pizza and tapping behind you. And then we're also gonna do a kind of easy drill that's pretty safe, but if you feel uncomfortable, you can always ask a parent or an older sibling for help or just completely leave it out. So remember when spotting backwards rolls, parents are lifting their hips. So they're going backwards, they have their pizza hand, we just don't want them rolling over their neck, that's all. Nothing crazy, not a hard spot. So the first drill we're gonna do is just to tap behind with our pizza hands. So we're going to start from here, we're going to sit down, we're going to roll back, and tap. I guess I missed my target, I'm pretty good at that today. So remember you're going to roll backwards, hands are in your pizza, and then tap behind you. Because that's the whole first part of the backwards roll. Now the second drill that we're going to do to help us with our backwards roll, I used to love to do on my couch, I don't know if you guys do it too and make your parents crazy, but I used to roll onto the couch and then roll off the couch and go running. So. We're gonna start on the couch, but this is for the pizza hands, this is that push. And then for the advanced class, you're gonna to have to have straight legs in that. So that's why we can also make them go backwards, pike roll drill. So right here, so you sat down, you roll backwards, here's your pizza hands, put them on the ground, and come on out of that. I stepped up because my mat rolled over here. Let's so one more from this angle maybe, we'll help you out. You're gonna lay back, hands here. Now, if you're trying the backwards pike roll, you're gonna keep those legs nice and straight as they come up. So hands are gonna come right on the floor here. And there, all right. Nice job on those drills, guys. We're gonna go over a little bit of dance and then we're gonna call it good for floor. The last part is our dance. We're gonna work on some turns today. We're gonna work on our pivot turns and then we're gonna work on some heel snap turns with our leg in passe. So we look like the letter P when we do that. So you wanna lift your leg up, put your toe next to your knee. But the first thing we're gonna do is a pivot turn drill. So remember when we do a pivot turn, we go up on our tippy toes and we spin, a little hard in socks. Maybe I'll do that on the floor actually. So over here, I'm gonna put my books. So this is so we keep our heels up. So we're gonna put one foot in front of the other and you can't touch your books, all right? And then you're gonna spin around. So one more try. One foot in front of the other, spin. All right, nice job on that, guys. The next part is gonna be for our passe turn. So what we're gonna do first is start with our feet together, 
and then we're going to step with our good foot. We're going to put our arm out in front of us, so we're going to bend the same arm as the leg that's stepping forward, so our good leg. You're going to hold it out, and then you're going to take the other arm, and you're going to lift it up behind you like this, all right? So we're going to go from here to crown. So try that just a few times. So here to crown, maybe five times, and up. After you've done that a few times, we're going to try to add a step through. So you're going to go here, to passe, and step through. So remember, our back foot is the one stepping through. So we've got our good arm bent, bad arm behind us, and our arms are going to go up to a crown as our back leg comes up. And then we're going to step out. All right, now we're going to add a releve. So remember, releve is tippy toes. So we start here, our arms here, back. We go up to a releve and step out. All right, try that a few times too. And then we will go on to our quarter quarter turns. So without doing the step in and step out first, let's just work on the turn part. So we're gonna stand in our passe and we're gonna keep our arms out like a beach ball because the thinking of moving your arms up is a little bit hard at first. So beach ball arms. And then we always turn towards the leg that is straight in on the ground. So not this way, that's an inside turn. That's not what we usually do in gymnastics. So here, beach ball, and you go up on your tippy toe and snap your heel around. So up, snap, up, snap, and then I'll step out. So try it to the side, then try it right back. So we'll go here, over, back, all right? Try it on each leg because it's a good calf burner. It'll make you strong and no harm in figuring out what your real good side is in gymnastics anyway. So now we're going to try it with the step, but we're going to make it a half turn. So a heel snap, half turn. So we're going to go from here to here and snap and step out. All right? So you can keep your arms out here or you can keep them up. Either way is okay for now. So you can go from here. Let's try it with the beach ball. And we're going to snap and step out. So if that's super duper easy, you guys should try some full turns. They're a little bit harder, but I'm not going to try to demonstrate one because I'm not spinning too well on this mat. So really nice work on those guys. Now we're going to do a couple of leap drills and we're going to be done for our floor today. So since we're going to be working on our leaps next week because they're in the second part of the routine, we're going to do a couple of drills now to get you ready to work on them. So the first one is just a kick forward and a kick backwards drill because you have to kick your front foot all the way up as hard as you can. And at the same time, you're gonna be able to kick your back foot to have a nice straight leg leap. So I'm gonna turn a little bit diagonal so you can see me. And you're just gonna start in your kneel. And we're gonna keep our arms left to the side like this, just like they would be in our leap. And we're gonna do a kick with our front leg. So we're almost like in our straight leg reach, but we're gonna lift it up like that. Now, see, I didn't bend my knees. So I'll do it one more time. And I want you guys to do that about 10 times on each leg because that's a really good leg tightening drill. And then, oh, I don't wanna move my leg. We're gonna do it backwards. So you're gonna kind of stand, you're gonna keep your arms out, you're gonna kick behind you. So make sure you're not gonna kick anything. And kick, kick, all right? Nice work, guys. Well, girls class, it's been real, but we are at the end once again. Hopefully we don't have too many more quarantine classes, but I hope you learned some new stuff and I hope you guys do the drills and improve your skills. So when we come back, everything's great. Have a nice week, guys.